This screencast represents a sample design analysis homework problem on the calculation of the net positive suction head for a pump and the determination of whether or not cavitation will occur. All of the information given in the problem, as well as some helpful data, is shown here. The first step is the conversion of the various values of pressure into feet for unit consistency. The vapor pressure can be converted from PSIA to feet of water from the equation displayed on the screen. Next, there is no external pressure on the top of the tank, excluding atmospheric pressure, so the surface pressure is zero. The static pressure is the liquid level of the tank, which is five feet. Because the tank is open to the atmosphere, the suction pressure is atmospheric pressure. Therefore, it must be converted to feet of water. The total pressure is just the addition of the surface pressure, the static pressure, and the suction pressure. Next, the head loss that occurs within the piping of the system must be calculated via the equation shown on the screen. Similarly, the head loss that occurs due to the 90 degree elbow must also be calculated. Finally, the NPSHA is to be calculated via the equation shown. Since the value for the NPSHA is greater than that of the NPSHR, then the pump will in fact not cavitate. Watch the following YouTube video in the playlist for an explanation of the two subsequent problems on the pump with systematic variations. For more sample design analysis problems, visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.